Fractions Improper fractions and mixed numbers or mixed fractions. Let's consider that a basket can hold three eggs. We express the number of eggs as fractions as follows. 3 by 3 plus 3 by 3 plus 1 by 3 equal to 3 plus 3 plus 1 the whole divided by 3. That's equal to 7 by 3 or 2 1 by 3. Ordering or comparison of fractions. Consider these two fractions. Look at the denominators. They are the same for both the numbers. These are like fractions. When comparing like fractions, the one with the smallest numerator is the smallest fraction. And the one with the greatest numerator is the greatest fraction. So, 6 by 9 is greater than 3 by 9. Now, how do we compare the fractions with different denominators? It is very simple. We just have to get the denominators to be equal. How do we do that? Consider the following fractions. Step 1. To get the denominators to be the same, we have to find the LCM of 3, 4, 6 and 8. For 3 and 6, it is 6. For 4 and 8, it is 8. So find the LCM of 6 and 8. Multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 and so on. Multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32 and so on. LCM is 24. Step 2. The fractions 1 by 3, 3 by 4, 5 by 6 and 3 by 8 can be written as 8 by 24, 18 by 24, 20 by 24 and 9 by 24. Step 3. Look at the numerators now. So the ascending order will be 8 by 24 less than, 9 by 24 less than, 18 by 24 less than, 20 by 24. Addition and Subtraction of Unlike Fractions Using the concept of arriving at a common denominator using the LCM method, we can add and subtract unlike fractions. In the above problem, the sum of the fractions can be found as follows. We found the common denominator using the LCM method as 24. So we can write 8 by 24 plus 18 by 24 plus 20 by 24 plus 9 by 24. Adding the numerators, we have 55 by 24, which is also equal to 2, 7 by 24. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Consider the following example. 2 by 3 into 4 by 5 equal to 2 into 4 by 3 into 5 that's equal to 8 by 15 steps 1 here we first multiply the numerators 2 next we multiply the denominators 3 express the answer as mixed numbers or bring them to the lowest term division of a whole number by a fraction to divide a whole number by a fraction, we multiply the whole number by the reciprocal of the fraction. The reciprocal of 2 by 3 is 3 by 2. Similarly, the reciprocal of 6 is 1 by 6. So, cancelling 6 from the denominator and the whole number, we get 1. Division of fractions. Let's consider the following example. Step 1. Find the reciprocal of the divisor. Here the divisor is 12 by 15 and its reciprocal is 15 divided by 12. Then change the division sign to multiplication sign. Step 2. Then cancel the common factors. So the answer is 1.